Hello, welcome or welcome back to Happy Breath Creations, where we explore all things art, yoga, and meditation. Today we'll be focusing on surrender, both physically and mentally. Yin yoga is a practice of allowing and accepting, where we embrace stillness and let gravity do the work. In this shorter class, remember that if you need more time in any pose to truly release, feel free to pause the video and surrender into the stretch. Let's begin. We'll start in shoelace pose, come to a seated position, stack your right knee on top of your left with your feet on either side of your hips. If this is too intense, extend the bottom leg straight out. You can stay upright or gently fold forward. You should feel a stretch in your outer hips and lower back. Let your breath be natural, softening into the pose. As you settle into shoelace pose, ask yourself, how can I surrender more here? Let go of any tension you're holding on to and soften into where you are right now. If your knees are too high, you could place a block or a cushion under your hips. You can rest your hands on the ground in front of you or on your legs, depending on your fold. If this is too much on your knees, sit up taller or adjust the position of your legs. Slowly release, and let's switch sides. Stack your left knee on top this time, and again, feel free to extend that bottom leg if needed, and then breathe. Great job, begin to extend both legs straight out in front of you for a little simple seated forward fold here. Keep a soft bend in your knees, fold forward gently, allowing your spine to stretch out after the compression and shoelace. Focus on lengthening your spine rather than forcing the fold. You can grab your feet, shins, or simply let your hands rest on the ground. Let your head hang heavy, Release any tension in your neck. Next, come to all fours and step your right foot forward between your hands, finding dragon pose. Drop your back knee down, either keeping your hands on the floor or on blocks. 
You should feel a nice stretch in the front of your left hip. For more intensity, you can tuck your back toes and lift the knee off the mat. Instead of resisting the stretch in your hips, try to relax around it. Can you soften your jaw and shoulders? In yin, we're invited to let go and trust the process. If your hands don't quite reach the floor comfortably, place a block under each hand. If, to, if lifting the back knee is too intense, keep it down and soften your gaze. Great job, slowly start to rise back up, step your right foot back, and bring your left foot forward for the other side. Slowly start to lift yourself back up and make your way to a seated position with your legs extended. Slowly fold forward over your legs, rounding through your spine in caterpillar pose. This isn't about reaching your toes, it's about softening your back and feeling that stretch along your spine and ham hamstrings. In caterpillar, surrender doesn't mean giving up. It means releasing the need to control. Let gravity pull you into the stretch and see if you can release just a little more with every exhale. Feel free to bend your knees as much as you need to to allow your spine to round naturally. Relax your neck and your shoulders. Let go of any tension.
right job, start to bring your hands behind your hips, fingers pointing towards your feet. Begin to lift your chest up to the sky. Find a gentle seated back bend to really open up the front of your body. Press into your hands to lift your chest even higher. You can keep your chin tucked or gently lift it if your neck feels okay. Focus on opening the heart, countering that forward fold. And next, come to hands and knees. Bring your right knee towards your right wrist and extend your left leg straight back for sleeping swan. Settle into the pose here, feeling a deep stretch in your right hip and glute. You can stay lifted or you can begin to fold forward. Instead of resisting the stretch in your hips, try to soften into it. Surrender not only physically, but emotionally as well. Let your body be heavy here and trust the ground beneath you. If this is too intense, you can place a block under your right hip. Alternatively, you can come into a figure four on your back. Great job, slowly start to make your way into downward facing dog. Stretch through your hamstrings and your calves. Pedal out your feet here. And let's begin to move into the other side. This time bring your left knee to your left wrist and your left foot comes to the right edge of your mat. Square your hips, sink down, center your weight evenly. Slowly, gently start to push yourself back up and find downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet, stretch through the back of your legs. And when you're ready, come down to your back for banana pose. Begin to slide both feet over to the right side of your mat, reaching your arms overhead to the right as well. You should feel a nice stretch along the left side of your body. 
You can cross your left ankle over your right to deepen the stretch even further. Feel this stretch along your side body and banana pose. Breathe deeply. Allow your breath to soften the tight spaces in your body. Try to keep your shoulders and your hips grounded as you curve your body. If this is too intense, you can uncross your legs or lower your arms. Find stillness here. Slowly and gently begin to come back through center and slide your legs and arms over to the left for the other side. start to come back to center reach your arms and legs in opposite directions for a full body supine stretch point your toes and fingers lengthen through your entire body stretch as long as you can feeling a gentle release through your sides take a deep breath in and let it out with a sigh <sighs> Start to bring your knees back to center. Hug them into your chest for a gentle knees to chest pose. Rock side to side, massaging your lower back. Hug your knees in tight, letting your spine soften even more. Feel free to keep rocking or stay completely still, whatever feels best for your lower back. And finally, extend your legs out and rest in Shavasana. Close your eyes. Allow your body to fully relax. Surrender fully to the moment, letting your body melt into the ground. Trust that everything is exactly as it should be. If you need more comfort, you can place a cushion under your knees or a blanket over you. Let your body completely release, feeling heavy against the ground.
feel free to pause this video for an extended Shavasana. When you're ready, gently wiggle your fingers and your toes. Begin to bring your knees to your chest and roll to one side and come back to a seated position. Thank you for practicing with me today and for embracing surrender. Take this sense of ease with you as you move throughout your day. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more art, yoga, and meditation content here at Happy Breath Creations. Namaste, my friends.